Hey, it's Dr. Jeremy. So several years ago, I shot a video that got a lot of traction, at least for me, and especially for my YouTube channel being pretty young at that point, uh, a video that really took off. And then as I got farther along in my career of helping people with weight loss, I've been doing that for 14 years now, I notice I get a lot of the same comments from clients and feedback from clients that we saw with the video that I initially shot. And that was discussing the difference between protein shakes and meal replacement shakes. I have found that most people think they are the same thing. So I wanna talk about that today since it's been a few years. So I do get asked a lot, um, Dr. Jeremy, is it okay for me to replace lunch with a protein shake or dinner or breakfast or all three? And my answer is no you should not be replacing a meal with just a protein shake. Most protein shakes only have protein. They may have a couple or a few vitamins, minerals, maybe a little bit more than that, but most of them don't have a lot of extra nutrition. Protein shakes historically are designed for post-workout or post-activity. So roughly within 45 minutes of finishing a workout is the prime time to get some protein into the body. Now I'm not gonna discuss in this video what the best type of protein is. That's a whole separate video. That'll be coming up really quickly, so watch for that. But in general, 45 minutes after a workout is kind of the prime window to get protein in to help replenish and build muscle fibers. But if you're looking to replace a meal and you're using protein shakes, you're robbing your body of essential vitamins, minerals, nutrients that it desperately needs to be healthy and to maintain your immune system and to lose weight and hit your health goals. And that's where meal replacement shakes come in. And we started a company a couple years ago, No Label Nutrition, uh, my business partner and I, and you don't have to use our products, but I always recommend if you're going to replace a meal, get yourself an actual meal replacement shake, something that has all of your probiotics, your prebiotics, your digestive enzymes, your multivitamin, your multimineral, uh, New Zealand-based whey protein, really, really high quality whey protein. You wanna give your body the vitamins, minerals, nutrients that it really needs to hit your health goals and your weight loss goals. I will argue if you're just looking for a quick snack throughout the day, like it's in between lunch and dinner, you could throw, throw a protein shake in there. Nothing wrong with that. And if you're trying to get extra protein in general to get to your daily protein requirements. Nothing wrong with throwing some of these in there. Make sure you stay hydrated. Uh, we don't wanna risk any issues with the kidneys as time goes on. But that's the big difference between the two and they are two separate entities and I really encourage our clients, I encourage you guys watching this, if you're looking to replace a meal, do some research, find yourself a high quality meal replacement shake. And I wouldn't replace more than maybe two meals a day with a shake. You need to eat real food. We want you to get the taste of food and to enjoy the crunch. Like you need to eat healthy and maintaining weight loss long-term is really hard to do living on nothing but shakes. And I've met people over the years that will do three shakes a day and they have no issue with it and they lose a lot of weight, but it's usually not long-term sustainable. So I really look at meal replacement shakes as a tool, just like protein shakes are a tool as well. And particular brands, again, that's gonna be what works for you, but stay tuned for a future video where I run through and give you my two cents on the best types of protein to look for. I had a video back in the day uh, titled along the lines of, your protein shake is garbage, throw it away. And there's a lot of truth to that, unfortunately. And this is the supplement industry in general. It's the wild, wild west. And you have to realize that most supplement manufacturers are in business to make money, not just to help you with your health. I think there's some great companies out there, but bottom line is what most companies look at. And the majority of protein that's in different protein shakes tends to be very low quality, uh, meaning it's massively inexpensive to produce and it gives them a bigger profit on their product. So thank you for watching this video. Be sure to subscribe to the channel if you have not already. Share this with your friends, with your family. 
uh, especially if you know somebody who's a gym rat and they do lots of protein shakes or somebody that's looking to lose weight and you see them making a shake all the time, uh, share this video with them. Uh, maybe it will encourage them and inspire them to reevaluate what they're buying and what they're using. So stay tuned for the next video. Have an amazing day.